I know that nobody asked for this, I know nobody's gonna watch this, and it's totally different than what I normally do on the channel, but I have a confession to make. I am a loot whore. Any game that allows you to indulge in your fever-like obsession with opening crates and discovering all sorts of cool new shit for your character to utilize to their advantage is an instant win in my book so long as the quality is up to par. With Borderlands 2, I won't be the first person to say that it was a massive hit. People like me everywhere praised it to the high heavens, even showering it with awards the year it was released. It spawned various special editions and DLCs among its wake and still gets played to death by fans today. It was hugely successful. But we often see throughout our lives, when a project becomes a bit too ambitious or overzealous, or the creators become a little too confident, they decide to stretch everything into a bastard, trilogy, which is something that has plagued many games and movies of our youth. Dead Space 3, Lost Planet 3, Fear 3, it's always the third game that fucks it up for the rest of the legacy that those games had to offer. It took a good chunk of time before we ever got another Dead Space title, and I'm sure that's due to the resounding disappointment fans felt with the third installment. Introducing Borderlands 3, an open world game that takes place within the universe of everyone's favorite vault hunters, psychos, mutants, and bandits. You're a vault hunter who is tasked with ripping your way through enemies and reaping the spoils for yourself, your team, and the storyline characters. Of course, Borderlands 3 was very much painted in a less positive light than its predecessor, due to a multitude of reasons. Before I go on about that, however, I want to talk about the good stuff in Borderlands 3 that genuinely made me miss this type of gameplay element. I recently got the opportunity to play the game with my two brothers at my side, so you bet your ass we started a new game all the way from the beginning. To be quite honest with you, it was so much more fun than I remember. I received Borderlands 3 on release day as a gift, but never really invested as much time into it as I did other titles. Tommy and I played it for a short while, but we found ourselves getting bored and overall worn out by the midsection of the game, so we had taken a long hiatus. Now that I've had the time to devote some hours to play it, I gotta say, I don't know what the fuck I was complaining about. This was a very rare case when a game I was sure was garbage actually turned out to be kind of fun. Playing with your squad mates, working as a team, and communicating while fighting the various different enemy types can be so intense for all parties involved, and it was awesome to see our characters fight side by side. What's even cooler are the different kinds of abilities and rare loot you can discover this time around. Dylan found a grenade mod, for example, that lobs a bunch of unicorns after whatever enemy he throws it at, which looked silly as hell, but it was fucking effective. There's no greater feeling than taking on hordes of enemies with your friends, testing your strength and capabilities with different class skills, upgrades, plenty of open area to maneuver, an insanely well done parkour mechanic that feels addicting and even better than dying light in some cases. Best of all, an outstanding selection of vault hunters to choose from. It feels great to take a bunch of damage and switch it up on the enemies last minute just to push them back and get that great fighting vibe back into your system. Borderlands is the king of this, especially when you notice the various different types of enemies you'll encounter. Sure, a lot of them are recycled from previous games, but not all of them. The guns? Oh man, I've always loved the guns in Borderlands. I don't think I've found a single gun that looked similar to another, at least none that I was heavily interested in. You'll get clones from time to time, sure, but you can easily sell these worthless pieces of junk to Marcus at any convenient vending machine or store. It's a massive, vast, open world full of hostility and exploration, so I can't really say it's one of the worst entries in the series for me. If you were expecting a bad review, I really hate to put you down, but I find myself having tons of fun with Borderlands 3, often way more than I thought I would. At some points in the game, I even found myself laughing at it, which is surprising. Ellie's crap. <laughs> There's a cool sprint slide mechanic that's unlimited, and you can even cheese it when sliding on an incline to go faster and further. The overhaul of character movement and gameplay is pretty flawless if I'm willing to admit. Throwing in subtle things like a ping system for your team, and most guns contain a brand new alternate firing mode for that extra skip in your step. And like I said, some of the animations really impressed me. I can't lie, normally I'm not a big fan of cell shaded games, mostly because it feels like a cheap route to go in terms of graphics, but Borderlands 3's classic 
classic look combined with its brand new feel make it a genuinely great experience for me. The graphics are beautiful and the art style of Borderlands is one I've always appreciated. The environments match the look as well with desecrated buildings, open landscapes, dry humid plains, and infested nests of abandoned facilities. Everywhere you go in the game is just begging to be explored, ventured, and dug out. Leave no stone unturned, as is the proper way to play the game. I was able to utilize some of my gear to my advantage. I have an SMG that, when reloaded, is tossed in front of me until it sticks to a surface. Then the gun transforms into a mini turret that attacks enemies for a short time. You remember that one perk from Fallout New Vegas called And Stay Back? It basically sends your enemies flying to the fucking moon after being shot via shotgun. Well, Borderlands 3 sure did their homework. Every shotgun in the game carries the chance to send an enemy flying, granting you a tactical advantage in many scenarios. It's so satisfying to blow these assholes to kingdom come. Okay, wait, I didn't- I didn't mean actually blowing them. Gotta get better about my wording. So yeah, what the fuck? This is one of the most fun games I've played in recent years. It's got an amazing element of replayability and satisfying combat. What else could you possibly want? Well, a decent fucking story would be nice. Yeah, it's that time of the video. Time to stop jerking off the developers and start shaming them for their kink instead. It's no secret that the weakest link in the hole that is Borderlands 3 is the writing. I can't even tell you what the storyline is about in the third game. We can't move, and I hate games that do that. <laughs> they're like, they're like, no, you're not moving. You're sitting here and listening. Oh my god, why do we have to listen to this? It's unbearable. I never even got far in this game. Like, I'm excited. To the biggest complaints is, are that the fucking story sucks, because it does. Whatever. I don't really care about story most of the time anyways. That is true. This is one of those games that's like... Like, don't get me wrong. Shit like this is really, really terrible. Locked. <laughs> Not gonna keep a siren out, though. Duh. <laughs> I know you can handle whatever we throw at you, you flaming badass you. Wow, that, Jesus fucking Christ, Lilith. Yo! <laughs> In a way, I'm not wrong. Borderlands is fun enough to where you don't actually have to pay attention to the story, but it's impossible to avoid it with how often characters interrupt the gameplay with their long-winded dialogue exposition speeches about the corruption of the world, different factions that want you dead, and worst of all, the main villains of the plot this time around are nowhere near as charming or interesting as Handsome Jack was. Look, I'm not one of those sick weirdos that's obsessed with Jack, but you can't deny that his villain arc was pretty brutal and interesting to say the least. When Jack is on screen, you're always paying attention, given his charismatic and powerful dialogue. But, oh, the fucking twins are a travesty. This doesn't need to be said, but I find the main villains of Borderlands 3 to be very lackluster and cringe. Their dialogue seems to be written by a teenager who thinks they know how the internet and trends work, but they don't. So what we get instead is a poor performance led by two clowns that nobody wants to listen to. The fucking subtitles are delayed. Like, I can't. Is this supposed to be making me laugh? Oh boy, I can't wait to be done with this fucking shit. Speaking of unbearable characters, I can't even talk about Ava. She's the most annoying and generic fucking kid in the entire game, constantly having the worst dialogue. She drones on and on about trying to be a vault hunter someday, giving off a funny, nervous wreck of a performance, but it comes off to me as cringe and repetitive. She sucks. End of story. I think it's too much. No, what, what you got to? You got nothing! Yeah! I got this one. Ah, oh, it's sticky! Why? Why is it sticky? Oh, monks are so weird. What the hell? Big rich! Big freaking rich! Kill it! No mercy! No mercy! It must die! 
Ava, shut the fuck up. Maybe I'm in my old age now where I just find the humor to be really stale this time around as well. The game is constantly throwing puns and jokes at you without ever dipping into different fields of comedy or straying into like a serious path. Except it's literally the skibbity toilet of humor. It's nothing clever. It's always either a double entendre for sex or a depressing suicide joke. Very rarely has the game made me laugh, except for maybe Captain Tron and his ridiculous voice acting. I am done playing games, monks. Get ready for some divine judgment from me, Tron! And obviously, Claptrap is always a delight in these games, but he's not really involved all that much. At least not like the second game, which is insane to think about considering how well-loved he is in the fanbase. I feel like I barely ever get to hear his hilarious dialogue anymore, and unfortunately thanks to the original voice actor walking away due to payment issues, I don't think they'll ever improve player interactions with the character again. So fuck him. The dialogue isn't just badly written all over the place, but it's also extremely draining. I swear, for every one major fight in the game, you have to complete six other different fucking pointless boring quests where you just stand there and talk. You follow NPCs on escort missions sometimes, which of course takes forever. You can be really invested in the gameplay at times, but I guarantee you're gonna get ripped out of that immersion once you realize the characters never shut the fuck up. I understand that Borderlands has always been a very dialogue heavy franchise. Often it's considered the medium for the game's storytelling. But come on, I'm trying to focus and blast some goons with my looted gear and guns. I don't want to have to listen to that droning voice shit in the background as well. If it were well written, I would love to pay more attention to Borderlands 3's plot, but that's not the case. When I say you can quite literally turn your brain off and play mindless looting and shooting caveman madness, I mean it. You're not gonna miss anything important. But who gives a fuck about the writing? when the game itself is great, right? In most cases, I turn away from awful writing in games and avoid them altogether because of that. But since my brothers and I have been searching high and low for the perfect co-op experience after all this time being on my own in Tarkov and whatnot, I gotta say, it does its job well. Borderlands 3 is a crazy game with lots of unique mechanics, character abilities, and a whole ton of lore to be explored by both fans and non-fans of the series. There's not much for me to say positively towards the story itself this time around, but the gameplay really is fun. I'd only recommend playing it with friends or family, considering being alone really opens up your mind to the awful dialogue they expose you to. I'm not kidding, some of the writing is so, so fucking bad, dude. As I said though, as long as you ignore the story and its worst places, you'll still discover there is lots of fun to be had, and if you throw a couple of friends into the mix with you, it's an even better time. Borderlands 3 was okay, that's all I wanted to say. I apologize that I came out of nowhere with this video, but it was something I genuinely wanted to discuss, because I feel like Borderlands 3 gets a lot more hate than it deserves. Yeah, sure, it has a shit story, but it's a fun game with interesting elements and dynamic control that makes me feel like a legitimate vault hunter. This is the first game in the trilogy to ever make me feel that way. Hopefully you guys and gals enjoyed regardless. I love talking about Borderlands in general, and I'm hoping someday I can come back to it and give a proper review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.